Hey everybody, this is Fast Free and Flying or Free on AJ, and yeah, I'm sorry that the uh, video I wanted to send out isn't like you know ready yet. Um, it's been I'm trying to animate these items of Poncho and Spigot, and they're taking a long time because animation takes a long time. So yeah, sorry about that. I decided to do something that is a problem for me. So as you may all know, um, well maybe you don't, but I guess Animal Jam is a pretty good company. I mean, they, they try to cater to uh, the customer. But one thing that is just, I guess, um, made me lose ho all hope for them is just... Now I am going to mention names here, is Julian 2. And don't get me wrong, this guy's a great guy. I love his videos. I watch his videos uh, when he posts them. But, oh my good god. How could you do this to the company, Julian? So as you may know, there, there is the new lemur coming out, and I have watched Julian's videos, and yes, Animal Jam does take suggestions from him, and do take pointers from him, and guess what? Because of the video where the top 10 animals, or how many was, that he suggested should be in the game, yeah, Animal Jam's reputation is going to go right down the toilet. There's the thing that people don't understand is that, first of all, let's just get this straight. Animal Jam, why are you taking suggestions from this guy? I don't know his exact age, but he's he, he's an older person. He's about 20, maybe older. Uh, why are you taking suggestions from this guy that has already shown you the tropes? Why? He is literally trolling your company and you don't do anything about it. So yeah, some of the animals he suggested were the sloths. Oh, guess what? That was a bust. No one plays with the sloth. Do you play with the sloth? Did you even know there was a sloth in the diamond shop? Secondly, now we have lemurs. Are any of you going to play as a lemur? Does Madagascar appeal to you? Probably not. Now, what I wanted to suggest, because I wanted to change this game for the better, you see, because humans don't like big changes. No one's going to buy these silly animals because they're set, they're filled with just big changes. It's not the normal cool-looking animal you see in the shop every day. So I I contemplated this for a long time. I thought about this for a long, long time, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to go out of my way to make this change happen. And I wanted to suggest bats to Animal Jam. Now I'll just I'll just read you my email that I sent to Animal Jam since I don't really want to um, sum it up. Dear AJHQ, I have tried contacting you before, but you don't take suggestions through emails and rarely see any suggestions buried under the millions of others in your less than 60 character suggestion box in the diamond shop. Not even your blog will let me post, and I do think this suggestion will help out Animal Jam a great deal. It has come to my attention that you are spending a lot of time and money creating diamond shop animals that will that people will play, rarely play. A good example of this is the new lemur that is coming out. I know you take suggestions from popular YouTubers such as Julian too, but that doesn't change anything. You realize this guy is about 20 years old or older who is suggesting products for your children's game, right? I personally think you should let the actual kids this game is marketed to suggest new animals since they will obviously be playing with them. I wanted to suggest an animal I think would make it big in the game. The animal I want to suggest is a bat. Before you think this is a lousy idea, please allow me to point out a few things. The bat will help the game and make it and make it a popular animal among players. Bats are very rare sight in many other animal-based games, they don't just look extremely cool and sometimes cute, but have dog-like features despite being in the rodent family. This will encourage kids to buy them since, let's face it, dog-like animals are the most popular in the game. These little animals will bring color to the game. They will be the first rodent in the game and the first flying mammal mixing up the birds only formula for flying diamond shop animals, as well as their strange nature sleeping upside down and locating prey with their ears. They would be an interesting animal for kids to learn about. 
Let's not forget that, yes, Batman is very popular among kids, and it would even encourage them further to buy this amazing animal. Bats would definitely be long-lasting in the diamond shop, um, in a long-lasting animal in the shop. I hope you actually read this instead of telling me to write it in the suggestion box. Thank you for reading if you did, and I hope you consider this suggestion. Have a great day. And, yeah. I, that, I, that's a very, you know, valid, like, people could read that and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's understandable. Well, guess what, uh, uh, Animal Jam sent me in response. This is what they sent me in response. Um, hello, my name. Thank you for contacting Animal Jam Support Headquarters, since they don't have anywhere I can actually suggest this. You can send us feedback by clicking on the purple question mark located next to the chat bar for more information on how you can do this. Sorry, guys. I'm just... Yeah, I'm still here. Um, more information on how you could do this. Click the link below. By sending feedback in-game, it ensures the idea goes straight to the developers who plan our game content. Huh. Yeah. Customer support only um, customer support only handles account changes and questions for parents. Sincerely, Charia S, Animal Jam HQ. And then they have aud the audacity to advertise their new item that they have in the game. Yeah. This isn't the first time they've sent me something either. I tried to suggest something that would help with the Animal Jam masterpieces, got the same thing. The same robotic response, copy and paste, just with a different name at the end. Come on, Animal Jam! This is freaking ridiculous! Like, are you kidding me? You're basically saying that... You're basically telling me to go F off. I want to make this video so I can get this idea out here, because personally, I do like Julian too, but come on, Julian, come on, you have to think. P human humans respond well to small changes. No one likes a big change because, you know, it'll ruin it for everyone. Yeah, okay. People like small changes. It will encourage them to change completely. Putting a lemur in the game is not going to change anything. No one's going to buy it because it's such a big change from the animals that everybody likes. And the animals people like are mostly arctic wolves, foxes, eagles, arctic foxes, and that's it. That's the most I've seen of people. Mostly those four animals. And because of this, um, because of this, sorry, uh, no one's gonna buy the lemurs and the, the llamas and sloths. When sloths came out, what is it, been like a few weeks now? A month maybe? I'm not entirely sure because I don't ever remember them coming into the shop. I don't remember them even being advertised. I haven't seen anybody play with a sloth. And the llamas lasted for a good month or so because it became, I guess, a meme on the Animal Jam, in the Animal Jam community. And I see no one playing them. I see a couple raccoons once in a while, but that's about it. People on this game like dog-like creatures. They like animals that resemble dogs because, let's face it, dogs are one of the most popular pets in the world. They are um, immensely more popular than cats and birds and lizards. Now, I do agree with adding swans in the game, but not so much herons, since there'll be two birds placed in the game that, I don't know, fairly look similar. Maybe we could place just herons. I'm not entirely sure, but I do agree with adding more birds. Um, I guess I kind of agree with the iguana. The iguana would be a nice little, you know, change, since we don't have a lot of, uh, reptiles in the world of Jamar, and it would be cool. But, you know, we need some rodents and amphibians as well, and that is why I wanted to suggest the bat. The bat, let's face it, bats, even though they're a rodent, do have dog-like features from their snouts to their mouths, I guess. Kids could see them as flying. Dogs, 
if you if they didn't know that they were flying rats. That is just a fact. They look similar to, you know, dogs. It's just the way it is. Secondly, uh, they will be the first flying mammal, as I've already stated before. We need to change up the formula. No one's going to want this birds-only thing going on for too long. People will get bored of it soon. So bats would be just an excellent... would have an excellent place in Joma. I think a lot of people would play as bats, and I hope that Animal Jam actually considers my suggestion. I had no other way to... Uh, I don't know, write about my ideas um, in this game. As you can see with this text box here, you can only write a few things. I'm just going to spam K. You can only write a few things. It has doesn't have a lot of characters in it. Or maybe it does. I didn't quite use this because I believed it didn't. I will be copying and pasting my suggestion here if it does, in fact, work. See? There you go. End. How many characters is that? Well, you can count the Ks, but that is definitely not a long enough for a three-paragraph, I guess, essay. Come on, Animal Jam. You need an email where people can suggest you things. We need to get these ideas to you somehow. No one's going to play as a lemur. No one's going to play as a bison. No one has ever played with a sloth. And when we add bats to the game, it'll add a slight change in the community. And that slight change can evol eventually evolve into a bigger change, the little, the little by little. We have to go little by little. So yeah, I've been just rambling on. I guess I did a pretty good job without a script. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I encourage you to spread this video to as many people as you can. We need change in Jama. And I think this would be a good way to start it. Uh, thank you, everybody. This has been Fast Free and Flying or Free on AJ, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.